Tonight, the University of Utah has now cleared women's gymnastics coach Tom Farden of any wrongdoing. All this comes after an investigation into verbal and emotional abuse claims against his gymnasts. Now, Farden remains head coach, and the school says it will be keeping a close eye on the team and the coaching staff. Ariel Harrison live at the University Force tonight with more on the story. Ariel. Yeah, well, Mark and Heidi, this 45-page report details the findings that ultimately led to the university's decision to, you know, uh, let or clear Farden off on any, any wrongdoing, or clear him, I should say. And even though this investigation is complete, the school says its work to improve the culture in its gymnastics program is not. And today, it recommitted to do just that. There is definitely a lack of communication um, like where boundaries are. U of U freshman Bella McIntyre is unaffiliated with the women's gymnastics program, but grew up dancing competitively and working closely with coaches. If you feel like it's constructive, sometimes you can just like work through those emotions on your own. But I think there's a difference between working through those emotions and like being yelled at in a constructive way. Today, U of U Athletics shared the 45 page report of findings from an independent firm. Based on dozens of interviews, the firm found Coach Farden did not engage in any severe verbal or emotional abuse of his gymnasts. However, in one instance, they said Farden made a derogatory comment that violated the athletics well-being policy. The firm was unable to corroborate other accusations and said the majority of interviews described Farden as a caring and passionate coach. Students like Bella still applaud the athletes for coming forward. I know that a plenty of athletes never do, and they just deal with it because they think that's normal. Today, we asked the department, how is the school reviewing the findings with athletes who made the claims? Are they doing anything to respond to those students with negative experiences? What expectations did athletic director Mark Harlan share with Coach Farden? And how will they monitor Farden's conduct? An athletic department spokesman denied our request for an interview with Harlan, but shared a statement from Coach Farden, which read in part, it has been painful to learn of the negative impacts that my words and actions have created. I have learned of the areas that I must improve upon, and I am fully committed to improving our student athlete experience. Now, in response to the report and findings in it, the school has committed to five different action items to improve the program overall, its culture, and also oversights. We have those uh, five action items listed now on our website, KUTV.com, along with both statements from both Coach Farden and Athletic Director Mark Harlan. Reporting live from University of Utah, Ariel Harrison, KUTV2 News.